First and foremost, it's about relationships. I think that it's hard to, to, to be a good coach if you're not good at cultivating relationships with your players, with your staff. And I think that you're able to impact and be more influential that way. Players are able to open up more to you. People in general are able to open up more to you when they feel like you have a sincere affinity for them, a sincere love, a sincere appreciation for what they do and who they are, most importantly. All right, so you heard what he said right there. It's always important to have great relationships. That's something we talked about regarding the Chicago Sky and Garden, who's going to be the new head coach? This is very important. And, and again, like I talked in the last couple of videos, I think Chicago hit a home run right here. They went, they they didn't settle, man. This They definitely did not settle. Not only did they got a head coach, they got a head coach that knows what a player needs wants and he's all about helping the player reach his full potential and he's a guy that's been paying attention to angel reese for a very long time now little you do know he's going viral right now because some of his old tweets surface on the internet right let me pull this up so, while he's the assistant coach for the Las Vegas Aces, he how he you can tell he's a big injury fan, as he said right here in this tweet. He said you can't really, you really can't teach ARs. He's talking about injuries. Feel for offensive rebound. He also says future of the skies in good hands. Young, tough. And don't give a elf about anybody's opinion other than their own. Got to respect it. You know that tweet tells me that he under, he actually respects the identity of Angel Reese and Camilla Cardoso and Ken, Kennedy Carter Brankin. He's not going to look to change them for who they are. And they're going to become a more disciplined basketball players. And they're going to become more disciplined and balanced all around as a team. So he understands being tough, being young, tough, and having that I don't give a crap attitude who we going to play. We're going to go out there and bust their butt. All this stuff is very important. And you can tell he's very genuine with it, too. Drastic difference in AR footwork. When patience first, when rush. Been on point today. Keep feeding. They're going to go over a lot of film. See, this is a guy right here. He watches a lot of film. He watches a lot of film, breaks it down. He shows players, okay, this is this the area you need to get better at. This is the area where you're already thriving at, but we want to get you to a whole nother level. So it's the little things. He's going to help out, and they know it. Las Vegas is – I'm telling you all, they took a big L right here. This guy is big. He is big for development. Like, he helped. He helped um, Jackie Young. He, he was part of the reason why Asia Wilson became the player she became. Like, he's a coach coach, like, all around. He has all of the tools to become a great coach. And what better way to start off his head coaching? Your first head coaching gig, coaching Angel Reese, Carmelo Cardoso, and most likely Kennedy Carter. And I better be Kennedy Carter, too. It better be Kennedy Carter. I want Kennedy Carter back in his damn uniform, bro, where she belongs. Kennedy Carter earned her money. She earned her stripes. Stop this. Don't even – look, bro, I don't want to hear no excuses. Kennedy Carter should be a Chicago Sky. They got to put a roster behind them. You can't have – it can't just be – you need to put a roster together. I'm talking about balance. You need all-around balance. Shooting, playmaking. Backups, good point guard play, of course. Um, they got two draft picks. They got a top three draft pick, very, very important. And if it ends up the number two, number three, which I think it's going to end up, they just got to keep adding on pieces, adding on pieces, adding on pieces. That's all they have to do. For 
Fort Wayne Mad Ants assistant coach, Toronto Raptors assistant video coordinator, players development coach for the 2019 NBA champion, Toronto Raptors. And then he was assistant coach on the Indiana Pacers and a development coach. And then he joined the the back-to-back champions, the Las Vegas Aces. And so you can see right there, he he had, he puts up a – he got a great resume. He got a great resume. His resume speaks for itself. And there's a lot of coaches that – in his position that don't even have all that on, his resume, on their resume. So it's not like he's a guy that not proven at all. He's just never been a head coach. But I trust when I tell you, but all the good things we hear, what I'm hearing, this guy's going to do a phenomenal job, Chicago. And I suggest, I think Chicago Sky fans should be, should feel optimistic. Now, the next step is this. The GM, we're not letting y'all off the hook. There's no excuses. Go out there and put a roster together. That's all I'm, that's all we ask. For. Chicago Sky fans want y'all to go put a championship roster together. The Chicago Sky can contend for a championship next year. All they have to do is put a roster together. Simple as that. Go out there and get them get them shooters, point guard, back, get them a bench. I mean, gotta get it done. You gotta get it done. Because I believe. I don't believe it's, they need a bunch of world beaters to get this turned around. They showed you. They almost won every game. Every game they lost was a close game pretty much until they got hurt. And I'm going to say this too. Maria Mabry, I know, bro, you know who's taking the biggest L right now? Marina Mabry. Marina Mabry leave Chicago, and everybody was joking. Everybody had a lot of stuff to say. Oh, Marina Mabry left that team. She left the trash Chicago Sky team. She left the win over there contend for a championship. Now look at her. She goes to a team, and they might end up having to start over. You got this your coach left. You might lose a couple players to free agent, and she's going to be right back in the same position she was when Chicago had to start over. So, now, who's going to get the last layer? Exactly. So, and another thing, too. I hear a lot of people um, was talking crazy about Teresa Witherspoon. Oh, they they, they kicked Teresa Witherspoon out. She was too much of an Angel Reese fan. This guy right here is an Angel Reese fan. He's an Angel Reese fan. This guy is riding with Angel Reese. He wants Angel Reese to be the best of the best. Oh, by the way, y'all, I'm going to tell you something else interesting. That's what else, y'all. Let me see if I can find it. <clears throat> One of the first things Tyler Marsh did when he signed on the dotted line to become the head coach of Chicago Sky, you know what he called? Angel Reese. Says right there in the report. Called Angel Reese. First thing. First thing. First thing smoke. She he called the franchise. So we already know what's going on. 